and welcome back to the Russian Empire. So, we've started off the war down in the south. I thought it was time to start it off in the north. Unfortunately for me, it turns out that the Germans were quite prepared, more prepared than I was. Now, I'd taken a lot of time trying to build up Russia, building railroads to try to stretch over the mighty Russian Empire. And it appears that I might have spent too much time on that and not recruited enough troops. We've got a full stack here, which I was moving in to see what was here in Königsberg. I was actually hoping that I could get a spy to send in here, but he's, of course, down looking at what the Austrians are doing. And as this army moved in and took this little town, it just turns out that the enemy kind of uh, is on our flank. We've got this Gottlieben Dankelman, which <laughs> is hiding here in the forest, ready to come in and attack us. And then we've got a lot of Germans here as well. One, the most important thing, which is, seems really dangerous here, is there's a lot of German cannons. So there's two here. We don't know what this is. They're, well, there's got some modern infantry with helmets. But they've got four cannons over here. So they've got two two in here. Or where are they? Wherever they were. There. Two there. And then four here. Like five, six. How many do I have? I have three. God damn it. How am I going to do... How am I going to deal with all of that? So we're not entirely sure what's going on there. My ships have not been... Well, my cargo ships have been recruited. Let's see. There they are. Quite a lot of them. I don't think they can fight that this uh, ship though. And I thought I actually had a light cruiser being built somewhere. Turns out I don't. Um, turns out the <laughs> light battle cruisers are quite expensive and would take basically one entire... Right now I make I think 10,000? 12,000? And a light cruiser costs will cost me six. 1,900. Anything bigger than that, like a dread pre-dreadnought battleship, that's 20,000. 27 for a battle cruiser, and a dreadnought battleship will set me back 27,000. So that's almost, that's more than two uh, turns pay. That's three turns pay, or more or less. And I'll have to wait three turns, not spend anything, and then spend it all on one ship that then will take like how many turns will it take to recruit that shit uh doesn't actually say i can't see at least it's probably tons of turns because i know the cargo ship took like six turns to build uh but this is not the battle we're gonna go have today what i've managed to do is i managed to get the second army down here ready to attack the romanians and hopefully we'll throw them back and maybe even advance into Romania so we ha don't have to go through the Austrian mountains um, but I think is even if we push the Romanians back uh, we might not be able to uh, to push on because I still want to sort of damage the Austrians over here they've been building a lot on these on this place military base they're building up I mean capturing that would be pre pretty nice I was actually waiting earlier to wait until they've built built the province up a bit before attacking, but at this point, I'm not going to wait seven turns for them to build the base, and even then, seven turns they probably have a full stack by then. So we'll see the army inside. I guess they can get some reinforcement and try to push, but there's a fort here, uh, so we'll see. But what we're going to do is we're going to attack here. Now, one thing that I forget forgot, uh, which actually a subscriber wanted me to do again, is the fact that you can in uh, Empire and Napoleon, I think. Uh, this is Napoleon, so yes, you can. Uh, what you can do is you can rename the units. You can do that in Empire as well. I think I tried to do that in Empire, but it re really never caught on. Someone just said, like, you know, uh, I remember maybe some <laughs> battalion. Yeah, why don't you kind of make this is um, but I don't really care, so it wasn't really a thing that caught on. Uh, but let's maybe try to do it this time around. And I've got perfect thing because we got General Hey, because he didn't actually have, or well, he doesn't have a name, but his unit 
can be renamed. So this could be a subscriber general. So whoever really, you know, wants that, I could put that in. Or if you put down, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do it. Just if you have, if you have a suggestion for this general, he's actually uh, tacti tactically unsound. So I think that fits with my subscribers, uh, maybe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully he's, you know what, he can turn that around because he's going to attack here right now. So maybe, depending on how this battle goes, uh, you might want to name him after you or maybe not. Maybe I'll just randomly take one of you, so I don't know. You better watch out. Oh no, I actually want you to comment, so maybe I'm not going to do that either. Anyways, we've been talking a lot of crap at this point. Let's go ahead and have some battle. And once and for all destroy these bloody Romanians. So at this point, they've brought up a second army. They've got some light infantry and some infantry and stuff to resupport their other crumbling army. Why am I not getting reinforced? Why am I not getting reinforced by the units that are sea besieged? Huh. I do not like this at all. Well, without further ado. We will go ahead and strike these Romanians and push them from our lands. So this is basically the same army as I had before, just it has three extra. So it's it's basically the same as the one uh, trapped inside. Right. And here we are on the field of battle. The town we're looking at is basically built up, well it's exactly built up as the last town. The only thing that's different is the terrain is completely different and you don't have the same hills and stuff but in but it in the is sort of how the town is built up and so forth it's exactly the same as the other town it's just that we don't have the hills and so forth i mean we even have if you remember how the the terrain was we still have this area where the 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 small unit or the the unit that held out the Romanian this really small Romanian unit they held out right there if you remember that and I pushed my troops up through here when the enemy attacked towards my position they came in between mostly in between these two houses here and we kind of accidentally hit some artillery on that one um, so it's ex the exactly same town it's just that the ground is a lot flatter here um, just like yes and uh, yeah let's go ahead and start it shall we I'm gonna have the three veteran units stay in the center and then I'm gonna have these other regiments move out on the flanks so they're gonna move out on the flanks here The Roma Romanian army at this point very depleted. They're going to get reinforced though. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on the map where they turn up. Although we'll probably don't see them as we at this point can only see the enemy general's unit. But we might see some smoke pop up somewhere. Might want to maybe send out the cavalry just to scout a bit. So we'll send this, gen this unit to hide in this forest over here. And we'll take this one. Oh, now the entire Romanian force has been spotted. I guess they decided that being under artillery fire for this long isn't really going to work out for them. So they've decided to advance upon our position. Which means that we really need to get our asses into gear. Set up, we need to take this hill. And we also need to prepare this flank on this side to get all our men in order. And maybe you want to stay in the trench, guys. You maybe don't want to sit on top of it like that. Okay, we've spotted the reinforcement army. The reinforcement army is coming behind the town all the way back here. Let's see if I maybe... Oh, these guys are getting attacked apparently. Oh, yes, we've got a light infantry unit out there. But once these guys get into position, they'll be able to fire upon them. And I get... Oh, these guys are also coming under fire by these smaller units. But I doubt these small Romanian units 
will be able to put up much resistance against us given the amount of men I'm pushing out there. Oh, they, they went the officer. And uh, for some reason they're still fighting in line, they're not spreading out. It's a very small units here. And they're coming up against a massive amount of Russians sitting on top of this hill, firing down upon them. And this little small unit's about to get destroyed. And now these guys have opened fire as well, taking on the light infantry on that side. And I think this unit, yes, this unit is opening fire as well. Firing from the trench. It's not going to be easy for the Romanians to try to attack that position. I'm guessing the hardest push by the enemy, since we've got the enemy reinforcement coming in from over there, is going to be here on the map coming in right. Um, now I have moved the cavalry into here and I have a pretty good shot here at just sweeping all of this away. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna move up and see what we can do here. I want to move the artillery strikes though to try to focus in further away. Well, you know what? Let's just not fire at all. Let's fire at the guys coming up. So cavalry moving in. Hopefully, that maybe they can end these guys. They're, ta they're taking damage. The thing is, we got a charge then. They fired. No one tells you what they hit. Ooh, they, they're just losing massive amounts of men. Cavalry is really over. There's no need for the enemy to form squares. They just need to... Holy shit. Our men shit. are running, sir. That cavalry unit was massacred within, really within seconds. The cavalry unit was utterly devastated and there's nothing left of it. Like, there, there's the last guy who died. Holy shit. Well, uh, like, we didn't know cavalry was obsolete, but damn. Son. This one hasn't even been in f fighting and it's lost men. So I'm guessing, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep them far away from the fighting. And then when it all kinda goes to shit um, for the enemy, we'll ride up and we'll dismount them and tell them to uh, occupy one of the houses. So that did <laughs> they Damn. I... They just melted away so quickly when they're moving up here. An absolute massacre. And this is not even a machine gun army or anything. This is just a bloody stupid uh, Romanian militia. And they were able to massacre them so this badly. We're actually gonna, I'm actually going to move this one up. Further up on the hill to get better position from firing. Now it was a good position because they, a lot of the units were in good cover. But I want to move up to get better uh, positions on shooting at the enemy. And really I want them to, all the enemies destroyed at this point. Okay, I think this one is getting flank fire from these guys over here. This one's lost a lot of men. So what we're going to do is we have a forest back here. So we're going to move back into the forest. Take cover by that. Okay, can we can we just destroy these guys already? What is it going to take? To actually destroy it. get rid of those guys over there just god damn it one thing I'm not entirely sure if it's brands mod who's done this or why they hold and so ridiculously long there's 16 men here and they're still fighting now I there's two kind there seems to be two kinds of way modders want to do it either they do it like Napoleon Total War 3 where someone like one soldier trips over and hurts his knee and the entire army runs away or they do it like this where 
you know, you suffer artillery and stuff and your unit of 400 men gets whittled down to like two men, but you're still like, you know what, me and Bob here, we can still do it. God damn it, there's one guy walking down there. And the entire unit of 303 men just unleashed hell upon him. Very necessary. And I mean, the fact that he was still casually just walking along, I think it was this guy right here. Casually walking along, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and advance on the Russian position. 14, 12 men. Now on the, on the same same time as it's annoying to have the enemy stand until the very end. It's kind of comforting knowing that my men will fight to the end. Although when my militia was holding those houses, they didn't help held to the end. Look at this guy. There's one guy left, and he's like, you know what? If I duck down, they won't be able to hit me, even though there's like a thousand men at this point firing at me. Okay, this unit is kind of moving towards the cavalry, and he's in, as we know, the cavalry is very vulnerable, so I'm going to hide them behind the hill. Run away, cavalry. And the thing is, with the enemy being able to... You don't have to turn the enemy around, or the unit around to get them to target the cavalry. You just need to, they sort of do that on their own. Which means that you kind the cavalry is kind of screwed because they can't sneak up. You can't expect to come, you know, oh, I came up through the back and now you can't, you um, sort of are unable to hit me. Okay, we're gonna pull these guys a little bit back. Why don't I put you down towards the forest? And I'll put you back towards the forest here. And that would be a plan. Now they kind of spread out a bit too far maybe from each other so they can't support. Or at least this one, the 13. Put the 13 in the forest. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I've got this general moving away. I kind of want to blow up some buildings as well. So I kind of want to start bombarding. Like This one's so spread out. That's probably going to be a good target for artillery rather than the this line that's slowly advancing. It is getting, f it, it is coming out of fire here. Seemingly, all the Romanians who learned anything from fighting us last time died, and so they're making the same mistake again. But I think that's gonna be a theme for, for our enemies. So these guys walking up through, oh, l just look at the amount of fire going in on this unit up ahead. There's a si they're moving in one by one, so they're, they're not taking the time to forming a proper line before moving up. Instead, they're mo walking one by one into this murderous fire, and the units here behind cover hasn't really... What are you doing? You've suffered massive amounts of casualties just because you were stupid enough to move out of position. What, what on earth possessed you? 22nd Regiment is full of, of commanded by an idiot. Sack that man immediately. Okay, and you guys, you kind of need to come back so you don't... Don't actually sit upon the trench. You need to be in down inside of it, returning fire upon the enemy. Now suddenly they go, oh, the Russians stopped firing. We must be doing something well. Oh, wait a minute. They start firing again. Just absolute massacre on the front line. As the enemy decides to... I guess they still got the Napoleonic code for how to uh, conduct battles and run armies and such. It's this just this stupid trickle of troops coming in, and this battle is going to drag on forever if we continue like this. Well, at least this one ran away with 152 men. They'll probably be back, though. For some reason, the Romanians really like this area. It's the best area to attack. Let's not try anything else. The amount of fire that's coming in against them is kind of amazing. Not too many of them, though, are actually dying at this point. I can't believe that out of 400 men, the, op the bloody officers standing there 
waving his butter knife around is still alive. Artillery strikes. There's seven men left of this, and th th at this point they're kind of wavering. Oh, there we go. They're trying to save themselves, anyways. There's one guy. He's running away. He's pretty experienced as well, so maybe he will be able to run back to the Romanian headquarters and tell them, you know what? Our tactics. They're not that good. We need to figure out something else. Otherwise, we are not going to win this war. I mean, what we had to break down the Russian Empire was the element of surprise. But now the element of surprise is gone. Now we have to act cleverly and not send the units in one by one into enemy fire. That's probably what he's going to say. Or he's going to get is so traumatic of losing, <laughs> losing the entire regiment um, that he was part of. 400 men, he's the single man alive. He's probably just gonna piss off into town and get drunk. Another unit is pulling back. And uh, just in time for this light infantry unit to come into play and get trashed by our forces. Now one thing that's... Uh, they're kind of inflicting kind of a lot of damage here. The rifle guys. Uh, one guy has been... Oh, one artillery guy has managed to die. So one stray shot has come through. Where is he? Where is the single artillery guy that died? Uh, do, 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 do. Can we find them? There he is. It's unfortunate. One of the one of the loaders there, or one of the runners. He's run with ammunition from the back up to the point there. He has died. Probably just as well because he's he probably has to, since there's an unlimited amount of ammo, he just can go ahead and uh, reload that thing forever. Right. H have the no, there's still there's still Romanian regiments coming in, but I'm, I'm guessing this one might have been the last one. So now we've seen kind of the end here. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Oh, uh, we'll pull you back then. And what we'll do is we'll take this one, move it into line, and get it in behind there. Um. You know what? Uh, what I before this one actually opened fire, I was thinking maybe I can ho hold this one back and then throw it in at the. You know what? We're gonna tell them to hold fire and then as the front line, as my main my main unit start to run out of ammo, uh, let's hit this one. No, let's hit the the light infantry unit. Same with these two. These two don't really fire as well. The enemy is just marching into death there. These guys have been firing until their rifles get sort of... Oh, he's hiding in a... He was hiding in a bush, I should say. And now this unit marches up. What if I tell everyone to hold fire? Because then they will actually stay in cover. And uh, maybe we can get the enemy to advance closer. Now the enemy dis decided to disappear because, uh, well, they've got nothing to fire on, but they really like this position. So they're not really inclined to advance. Guess we're gonna hit this one in the back then. Oh, that that could have been that could have been interpreted in a um, uh, in in, that, in an awkward way maybe that we were gonna oh you know what instead we're gonna hit this unit in the back instead. Cha-ching. Um, right. 
Let's just wait until they all gather up then there. Waiting for this one to turn up as well. So he's gonna move in there, he's gonna hide. With the other one. Come on artillery, I want you to bombard this one now. And then once, okay so we got two units here now. Can we get the third one in? I mean, this one. The general, we're gonna target him because he's kinda going towards this one. Maybe be able to unravel this unit or not unravel it but um, make sure that the the uh, the enemies can see it okay so the enemy is turning for some reason getting shot at so when everyone is in position so the enemy have everyone in position gonna move these guys up on the hill again tell them to fire and then now is the time for these guys to open fire so we're returning fire from uh, all locations Or maybe I'll tell you to hold and then open fire from there. I thought they were retreating, but they're not. Ooh. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Right in the middle. No, the game crashed. God damn it! Right, so that happened. It crashed, with its, which is probably going to do quite a few times in the future as well. So. The thing though was that uh, the battle was quite heavily in favor of me, so I was able to auto resolve it, and uh, this is the result. So, pretty darn similar to uh, the actual battle result. The only difference is that uh, one of the cavalry units wasn't massacred, so I guess that would have been the difference there, but otherwise, it's, um, it's basically the same. And the Romanians are forced away. I wish I could actually follow them. I could follow up with this unit, but I don't really dare. And at the same time, looking at the time, we're going to have to end it right here. So the question is, for next episode, will the Germans be able to encircle me? Or am I going to be able to retreat uh, to the point where I can get more cannons up to the front so I can actually kinda fight these because I imagine with these many enemy cannons they'll just be able to swarm my few cannons and destroy them entirely and uh, yeah I'll probably chase these guys out and at least at least get this army which I've got here right now get that on that bridge to make sure the enemy does not cross and then slowly trickle in reinforcements until the point where we can actually move in, siege the, that castle and so forth and take uh, Romania. What I'll probably do is I'll release them immediately as, an, as a client state instead to have them as a bu sort of buffer zone. And um, after that, the army will try to rec that army will try to recuperate and then we can see about actually taking Istanbul. Um, the um, I think the victory conditions actually tells me to take all of um, have all of uh, let's see where is the victory conditions is this the victory conditions objectives no wait what did I have there we go so these areas I need to hold and I think we'll probably create Greece as its own state and Romania as its own state um, we'll probably keep Romalia as as part of our regiment, our our regiment, our uh, kingdom. Um, recruitment cost for artillery. I guess that's good. Since it's only one turn away, that seems fine. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, despite the crash, and or maybe big. Well, anyways, I'll. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.